this is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the president and CEO of Nevada Sunrise Metals, Mr. Warren Stanier. Warren, an overdue catch up. How are you today, sir? I'm doing well today. We're having a, a nice uh, balmy fall season here in Vancouver. So, uh, yeah, not too cold, not too wet. Can't complain. Well, let's get right into it. We had a conversation off air briefly about the disconnect between the need for, you know, gold, copper, lithium, uranium, you name it, across the, across the board, the need for these materials um, and the lack of capital that's willing to allocate in the sector right now. We were talking about how it looks like, at least to me, and I've been acting accordingly, it looks like a generational opportunity to really make speculations at or near the bottom. We also talked a bit about how we thought 2024 was going to be much kinder to us. So with that, you couldn't have picked a better time for your 80% partner, Copar Minerals operator of Kinsley Mountain, of which, of course, Nevada Sunrise owns just shy of 20% of, to release the results they released recently. 15.3 grams a ton gold, over 32.3 meters, Look, infill hole or not, that is a great, great intercept and I think speaks to the robust nature of the mineralization. Can you provide context on those results? Well, w one of the easy ways we we have a benchmark for, for a result is simply uh, multiplying grams per ton times meters. And we call that in the business a GT, grade times thickness. And this one is one of the best holes that's been drilled on the property with a GT of 494.19. So for example, if you had had 10 grams over 10 meters, well, that's a pretty good number, but that's a GT of 100. This is literally almost five times that. So this is up there with one of the holes that Pilot Gold drilled. Uh, we had a GT of over 500, almost 600 back in, I think it was 2014. So uh, yeah, an exceptional result. Uh, I sincerely hope that this begins to add to the resource at Kinsley, that there will be, with more drilling, uh, probably take one more season of drilling to, to redo the uh, resource calculation and, and uh, make it larger. What else is going on in the Nevada Sunrise portfolio? We haven't chatted on air and, and frankly off air for a few months. I know you raised some capital. Uh, clearly, there's there's a thought there that some of that capital would be allocated to the 100% owned Gemini Lithium project. Can you touch on that a bit? Well, we're eagerly awaiting the resource calculation, the maiden resource for Gemini. It will be inferred on five holes only. Um, but we expect to have that in the next few weeks. Um, I'd like to promise it before Christmas because that was really the, the intent was to get it out in the fourth quarter. Uh, I can't necessarily promise, but I hope it will be ready by the end of this month, first week of December. And uh, we're all looking forward to that result. Um, the engineers have made their site visit last week, which is a prerequisite for a technical report. Um, there's some other check assays that they do as part of the verification process and, and we're ready to go. So, um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's a, it's a dream come true that we had Gemini all these years, never put a hole in it. And now in a matter of a year and a half or so, uh, we've just under two years, we're, we're at a resource estimate level and, there's a lots of room for expansion, I believe. We're also working on a gravity model. We should be getting it next week from our, uh, this is our consultant, Dr. John Aldo, former uh, professor at the University of Texas, Dallas. He and his students did a, a lot of gravity work in, in the Southwest, including the Lida Valley Basin, including Gemini. So the, he's building a model right now, which I, I'm looking forward to showing everybody and, and just giving everyone an idea of the extent of the Gemini Basin and, and what could be in it. It was a rough couple of quarters in the resource space as far as attracting capital, but I have to believe that given the diversity in the Nevada Sunrise portfolio, meaning you have a copper project I really like, 
you have Gemini, which obviously is is the reason you attracted the capital recently. And then, of course, you know, Kinsley Mountain, which I've always liked and, and we've both thought highly of now is 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 once again, you know, being drilled by by a technical team that seems very competent and knows how to approach, you know, not just the info part of it, but the resource expansion and some of the exploration upside. What's the reception you're getting out there as far as the portfolio? We know where the share price is. We know it's tax loss selling season. We know it was a tough year for a lot of companies. But as far as the quality of projects in the portfolio, how are you feeling about that? Well, I think being in Nevada is is one of the, it is the best place in the world, in my opinion. Uh, When it comes to permitting, dealing with local people, uh, there's so many resources available, the year-round access into properties. There's roads everywhere. You just can't beat Nevada. And that's where all our properties are. So whether it's lithium, and we have three uh, in, in a very accessible area. Uh, the copper project is also very accessible with a former mine, uh, just literally a, well, a stone's throw away in, in mapping terms. Uh, this is this is a VMS deposit that that shows that the region has potential for more. Uh, we haven't been successful in locating that yet, just due to difficult ground conditions in our drilling. But we plan to do some more work. Uh, we we need to raise money for that, but the vendors uh, are supporting us, and we're redoing our deal a bit just to uh, extend it out uh, in terms of payments and things like that. So we're all getting through this time. And of course, gold rising the way it did. Well, we've been involved in Kinsley Mountain now in a joint venture since 2013. So it's 10 years. And it's come from a few old pits, historical pits on on the side of a mountain to this, to this major exploration project with high grade gold and shallow oxide gold that could be heap leached as Alta Gold did back 30 years ago. So yeah, there's there's huge potential for, for all these sectors, all these commodities. Well, and huge potential, I think, for an overdue re-rating on Nevada Sunrise shares. Warren, I look forward to chatting soon. I'm looking forward to that resource estimate. I expect it'll be, although inferred, pretty robust and a great peek into the window of the potential upside at Gemini. I agree. Thank you, and Warren. Thanks for, uh, for calling. <laughs> no, thank you as always for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Gerardo. Take care. Cheers. Hey, everybody. Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.